I wanted to get involved with the project because I'm just so passionate about swimming, you know, and fitness and, and the fact that we're all living longer and we need to make sure that we look after ourselves. Uh, sadly, statistics show that a large number of adults still can't swim. I think it's something like one in five. And we know that children are supposed to be leaving school age 11 being able to swim 25 metres and nearly half of them can't do that, which is terrible because if you can't swim, you're potentially going to drown, you know, if you're put in a difficult situation. So it's a life-saving skill. Not only is it something which is vital, it's a fun activity which the whole family can do together. And Lido's have, have just grown um, and this is just the best, it's just beautiful. Something special comes with outdoor pools, you know, you're swimming in the environment. I know in the middle of winter when it's freezing cold that doesn't seem quite the same, but, but you know, we have great big long summers where actually the water can be fantastic and it will be heated here for six months of the year too, so it's not going to be freezing cold. Um, it'd be just a lovely community facility. And I look at this building, I just think it would be so sad if it wasn't to be properly looked after and to re be regenerated. As well as the fitness aspect, which is vitally important, rising obesity rates, longer lives, you also have the educational aspect which comes with the pool too. You know, there's 200 years of wonderful history here. Bath is a UNESCO site. You know, we, we walk around the streets of Bath and we're all so lucky that this is our hometown. But this is something which is a little gem, which is just sitting there that will add to that UNESCO status. And at the moment, it's being really overlooked.